you guys doing today? This is Veracity TT with another tutorial today. So first thing we're going to talk about is how to get your guys' plugins to show up inside of your DAW. Sometimes on the Mac M1, it can be a bit tricky. Right now I'm using the Mac Mini. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. It's a security feature built in that you have to basically type in your password to give the to give the plugin permission to run on the computer but it's a couple of more steps that you guys need to be aware of so i'm gonna take you through those steps here right now so first thing let's go to where the plugin is located this plugin is located here in my downloads i'm gonna click on that and copy it here all right so what you want to do is to get to the because this is one of those plugins you have to manually put it inside the plugins folder um, for it to run correctly so how you do that you're going to go here to find uh, finder right click on it and click go to folder here once you do that this is what you're going to want to type in i believe this is a backslash not a forward slash so backslash and then type in a library and then another backslash press OK and go to it. Another way you can get to it is so let's say here in your finder folder when you click Mac OS um, some of you guys may have this drive here over there you can just click library. Alright so once you get in this folder here you're going to want to go to audio put it in alphabetical order so you'll be able to find it quickly so here audio click in it then you see the plugins folder right click in there then you see components and the other VSTs this particular plugin I'm going to use the component all right right click well since we're in here I don't like to right click just go right up here to edit and paste it in or you can either use control V same thing just click inside control V so I'm going to replace just so you can see you can use either one so the tricky thing first off before we continue you have to restart your PC here. So I'm going to restart my PC and then we'll continue the tutorial from there. So I just restarted the computer. Now let's go on and finish the tutorial. So we're going to go here to system preferences. When you get to system preferences, this security and privacy tab is going to be your friend. And if you didn't know another way, you can go here to the launch pad. And your system preferences will be somewhere in your launch pad if you don't know how to get to it. So it's right there. Um, so you're going to go into security and privacy. You guys see this lock? So first you're going to want to allow apps to um, download it from um, this second option here, the app store and identify developers. So you're going to want to cl click this and type in your password here. Okay, so once you have your password typed in, you're going to see that this locks, the lock opens up. Okay, so once the lock is open, this is when you want to launch your DAW. Let's do FL. So when we actually try to load the plugin, we'll need this screen up here. And there's there will be a message asking us if we want to run that particular application. And we're going to select yes. So in FL Studio here, we're going to go to load the plugins. So... You see that settings, files, and folders. Just go right down here to plugins there. Then click find. Don't be trying to steal my plugins, y'all. I see you looking. I see you looking. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, again, when you're on that Mac M1, you have to restart your computer when you manually input a plugin inside of the components folder. I'm not sure about VST, but definitely the components folder. You got to restart your computer. So that was one big caveat that I ran into. Okay, so you can see that my plugins are loaded. Um, so I've already selected 313 LIT here. So it's going to have an AU on it. So I use this version. All right, I'm on the Mac uh, Mini M1. So it's there. Now what you want to do is bring up this because when you try to load the plugin, that is, let me exit out of this, this in a way. So when you try to bring up the plugin, it's going to pop up over there. So now mine didn't pop up because I guess since I already did this before, 
but yours should pop up over here. And when it say do, give this particular plugin permission. And once you give it permission, you'll see that it'll load up just fine. So I'm sorry, guys. I thought mine would pop up by me reinstalling it, but I guess I will have to clear a setting somehow over here. <laughs> And while we're here, I might as well show y'all something else. So this is something I do a lot. I like to use this Hat Tricks plugin. It's basically like an auto roller. I won't try it. All right, watch this, y'all. So let me do a quick little... I don't have my keyboard hooked up. Let's show y'all a little something, something. That way it's not a total waste of a tutorial. turn off this let's do a snare look at y'all trying to see what sound gets i would use i see y'all looking bro i see y'all i like using this white kick this boy old school but this mother not Hey, hey, hey. 